Hello and welcome back to another episode of Seven Days to Die. You're hanging out with Miser, and this is Season 3, Episode 2. This is going to be... It's going to be mostly questing, but I wanted to get the foundation laid for the house that we're going to be building. The house itself is just a concept right now. The way that I build is kind of convoluted. I I lay out the design and then I just tinker with it until I like it. It's it's kind of frustrating if you're building with me, but it's it's how I get along. So, you know, it is what it is. I've just made a path up here. This is already pretty much climbable. There have been a couple of zombies that have been hounding me. I've been Pretty good at keeping him off my back. This guy right over here. Oh. Oh, this guy. Yeah, you go ahead and explode. You do your thing, buddy. Alright. So, I kind of want to go down to the bottom and shave off sides of the mountain so that nothing can get up gonna make this basically a fortress it's gonna be awesome i need to figure out how and because it's so large it's gonna be a bit of a challenge i'll do it off camera as i'm playing i get into moods where i just want to dig and stuff so that's you know that's what i'll do um otherwise let's let's take a look at the basic footprint that i've got down so far okay just get this out of the way this is going to be the entryway i'm going to dig this down just a little bit lower um, so it's going to be a straight shot in. This is going to be the actual entry. I'm thinking... I'm going to knock out this area here so that I can have... Mm, I don't know. Let's not talk about that just yet. Then I'm going to have this area here. This is going to have a step. Maybe two steps. Leading up into this room right here. I'm kind of, again, thinking about stretching it out a little bit more. It does not feel large enough, especially once we get the beginnings of the wall up. It's going to really make this room small. I was thinking this would be the bedroom area. We'll say... Oh, we can actually set down where we're supposed to. I've been playing a lot of Sunken Land lately, and I keep trying to press F when I'm doing stuff, so if you see me just kind of floundering around a little bit, that's that's why. Um, and then off of the bedroom, I don't know if I want to have a straight shot into... You know what I'd like to do? Let's make this staircase this way. We'll have a landing that goes into the bedroom. And then we'll go up and the bottom will be a kill zone of sorts. We might even leave this open and just create a big hole down here. I don't know. What if we make this into our base as well? I just blew my own mind. It might actually be a good horde base. I'm thinking about it now. It's it's going to I think it's going to be the horde base as well as the just regular base. If I shave off the sides of the mountain so that... Oh, that's that cow again. If I shave off the sides of the mountain where I don't want them coming up and leave paths that direct them where I want them... It's a big mountain. They would have to dig so much to get everything to crumble, right? Plus, with the mountain pathways, I don't, I don't think they would actually dig. I think they'd just climb up. Oh, yeah, I like this idea. I'm going to think about this a little bit more. I think for right now, we should go actually get a quest. Yeah, let's do that. I actually wound up staying and finishing out the rest of the blocks I'd created. Outside of what I had already laid down, I had about 120, give or take. And we just went ahead and finished the rest of those up. This guy just spotted me. That's okay. I don't mind. One at a time, I'm good to go. 
when they start all running at me all at once that I really start freaking out. Okay. Oh, ow. That's right. Hit the miser, lose the arm. It's funny because I think they're turning into gore blocks, but I'm not 100% sure. They definitely are. <laughs> I like it. Plenty of fat for later. And bones. I'm gonna have bones for days. Right. Here we go. I know that some of the animals can attack you. We've already been attacked by a goose. The unfriendliest goose I've ever seen. But, uh, ooh, yeah. Oh, the more I use this spear, the more I like it. But I'm not sure what other animals can and cannot attack. So I'm a little on edge around everything. It is what it is. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, what the heck is that? Oh, it's another nest. It was just sideways. I would really like to do some more arrows. How many can we make? A good amount. Yes make them all. All right, let's go ahead and get started. This is just a tier one. I'm not super worried about it, but we also got some points available. Let's, let's spin these really quickly. Um, I'm not familiar with the new layout of skills. Let's take a really quick look before we go in. This looks pretty similar to what's normal, except this one. Strange creatures require special skills. Increase your damage against various Custom creatures and zombies with every tier. Ranks do not stack. The hell is that? Oh, come on. Those are annoying. Take this and that. Why is there not one named Kapow? There's a giant version. I've seen giant versions of things already. Let's go ahead and select these. Uh, let's also take a look. These are the normal ones. Infiltrator, Animal Tracker, Lucky Looter. Hidden Strike is typically in with the bow stuff. So I'm not sure what else is going to be switched. Unawares. I always like to do one of these from the shadows. Right. I don't remember doing this one before. I'm kind of excited about it. I already feel it's only been a week since I've really recorded an episode. And I already feel like I've forgotten like pretty common, normal things like watching where the red dots are spawning so that you don't run across people you're not expecting. But we'll do our best. Ooh. Thank god my sneak is so epic. Ooh, not epic enough. One. Ow. That's right. Don't mess with me and my pointy stick. And up. Look at all the mushrooms. I'm not going to need any mushrooms for the next year and a half. Going back through this whole thing is going to be a bitch. Uh, I don't know if I'm strong enough in the bow department to take her out in one shot. Yes. There's somebody walking and I'm not sure who it is. 
It really stresses me out to not be able to see people. Why do I feel like this is the end loop, but this is not the end? Did I go the wrong way? Oh, I think I did. Holy cow. That's a lot of noise. Uh... I'm not sure where to go. I'm pretty sure this is in loot, though. What is that candy? Where are you, dude? Be over there. Alright. Back around. Wait. Oh, no. It disappeared right as I got there. That's bunk. Alright. What about... Here. Just pull up the spear. Um, like he's above us. That guy, you're not part of our thing. Oh no, you dropped your arm. Clumsy. Hi, babe. The goose of death. I hear it. Mouse tied. The geeses. All right, let's crouch. We're going to get that sneak damage. I think this is the last dude. Boom, yep. That easy. See, these these level ones are nothing. Uh, if I didn't get locked every time I came through here. Alright, I'm going to loot up, and then we'll head back to the trader, which actually isn't as far away as it felt. And that 400 really tripped me out, but it's actually fairly close, especially to where we are currently camped out. So, I almost forgot to get the end loot. Uh... I'm not mad at that. Pumpkin spiced iced coffee. I'm not a fan of iced coffee, but pumpkin spice is a yes, please. I'm going to take all this stuff. Ooh, some pencil arrows. I saw those earlier, and they look really cool. Why are you so noisy, dude? You have a cone on your head. You should be more quiet. Jeez. Maybe the cone is really helping him project. Right, and then a little bit more ammo. Magnum Enforcer 3. We'll read that really quickly. Take the rest. I'm going to finish looting this up. There's not too much left. Then we're going to go murder him and try to sneak past the goose. Oopsie, that's a duff bag. But we got some vitamins. Why are you so angry? Because you can't see, huh? Ooh. Edgar. Oh, I heard something break on him. Ooh, nope. Ow! His long ass arms. He brought me presents. This. This is a man that knows what a girl wants. As I'm looting through here, I notice that you can actually take these things. So you can actually grab lights that are around and take them to your own base and light them up. That's actually super cool. Can't do this, huh? Oh, that's cool. But you can customize that. That's really cool. All right, to the trader. Let's see what we got here. Molotov's poop sock grenade. Um, okay. Uh, actually, you know what? I hate to say it, but I think the poop sock grenades are probably going to be the best that he's got. Okay, let's do the buried supplies. Ooh, lightning. Oh, yeah. Clear zombies. Task for you yeah. Great 
Like All right, let's rock and roll. Ooh, it started raining. <sighs> My favorite kind of weather. All right, let's run over. Um, ah, this way. Everything is the same direction, which I really like. Can you see the structure that's going to be our home? Look at it up there. It's magnificent. We are 24 encumbered right now. So we're gonna... What is that? Oh, is that the skeleton? What the hell is this? I don't remember this being here. Yeah. It had colored eyes. How creepy. Props to the creators, man. I sure know how to creep a gal out. Look at it. Isn't it beautiful? It's gonna be majestic. We got some overhang. Pain in the ass to get up here when you are encumbered, but you know what? Ugh. Rough. Okay, so we got our entryway. Look at it. Oh, it looks so good so far. This, I just have it here. So it's a little bit harder for zombies to get in. They're not going to walk right in. Give me a little bit more time to react. So we've got the inner area here. This is going to be kind of a backyard area. I don't know if I want to keep it right now. It's pretty carved out already, just naturally. You can see here where I dug a little bit to make it a little bit harder for zombies to climb up. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. This right here, I think I'm going to leave mostly open. I'm I'm not 100% sure what I want to do with this. I was thinking of putting the kitchen here. But again... Being that it's on the first floor, it makes me a little bit nervous. I, I don't know. Uh, then we have the upstairs. I've ran out of blocks up here, so just bear with me. This is going to be, I think, our storage area. And then here will be our crafting area. This is going to be a little nook. I want to make it kind of like circular here with like a benched area. Almost like a... What is it called? Oh my gosh. What is it called? My, I'm completely blanking on it. I love how it's multi-leveled. So we've got like these really cute little stairs leading up one level. Um, and then we have the cute, adorable little bedroom with our drop chest. We're going to have a balcony here. I can look down and look over everything, including weird mannequins that are just standing out there staring at my room. I'm actually really excited about this. It's been a long time since I've built anything. Uh, there's going to be handrails all along this area. I like the idea of leaving this open so that I can look down and see what's going on. And then here. I don't think I want to... I don't think I want to actually make a balcony or anything right here, but I think I am going to leave it open. We'll see. All right, let me dump this stuff off and then we'll head to our next quest. All right, I just heard a cat and I don't know why. Let's get this guy before the other dude comes over here. Okay, he's not too bad. That guy over there, he might be a little bit bad. I'm low-key scared to see what that cat was about. I, I feel like... Oh, he's so tiny. That's a puma, though. Mm, are you dangerous, buddy? Are you dangerous? Barrel house cat. Hi, buddy. <gasps> nope, nope. He's a one. He's a nope. He's a nope. Uh, 
Oh shit. Oh crap. Alright. Right. Give her a Sunday surprise. Come on. Come on. Oh, what was all that? He had all kinds of stuff dripping off of him. I'll tell you what. Some of the stuff on here is surprisingly shocking, but some of it's actually really inventive. I like it. Loot Goblin! Oh, one more. Alright, let's actually try to shoot him. Loop. Oh, yeah. Little boopsies. Who doesn't like a boopsie? Ooh, 360. There we go, and one more. Ooh, two more. Give me my arrows back. I do love it when they... Oh, got a hospital gown on. That's funny. I do love it when they bring me my arrows back. Again, this is just a level one gonna go in and do it real quick i don't want to jinx myself but it's surprisingly bright Ooh, Give her a little hello okay oh i hear something Oh, a hot dog. And if they bring you presents, you have to open them. It would be rude not to. Uh, I wonder what could be in there. <laughs> uh... Whoa, holy cow. All right, all right. You can have it. You can have it. Give me my arrow back. There we go. Yay! It's a little party. Alright. Okay. Ooh, I like secret passageways. That's a secret passageway in a secret passageway. Makes it double good. It looks like the last one is in here. Did he did he see me? She she saw me, yes. Oh, alright. Alright, big mama, calm down. Calm down while I stab you. it i'm gonna go ahead and just loot this place up really quickly just bare bones i want to see if we can get one more done this episode i don't know what happened but all of a sudden my screen turned black and white i was trying to figure out what it might be but besides my foul stink i i don't see anything that would actually make that whoa yo I don't even... I don't know what to do with that. Holy shit. Oh, run away, run away, run away, run away. I don't want to die to a stinking... Oof. Holy cow. Shit. I, I don't even know what to do with that.
I'm just gonna run away. Oh, so many. It's really difficult to see them with it being black and white. Head towards our base. Oh, I am so stressed out. Listen to all the growling. All right, you know what? I don't think that we're going to get... What the hell is that? I do not think we're going to get another quest done this episode. We'll go ahead and pick up tomorrow once I've lost these dudes. Everything just went so quiet. It's so weird. I don't like it. To everyone that's taken the time to comment, like, or subscribe, thank you so much. I can't tell you how much it means to me. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button. And if you want notifications when I go live or if I post content, which is typically Thursday, Saturday, and Monday at 12 p.m. PST, I am West Coast, hit the notification bell. Until next time, bye.